Hello, my name is Baker, Mr. Baker, and welcome to the bakery, I can say, not the workshop, <laughs> I fear. Um, I was told that the sound is also very important here in the Lighthouse series, and so in this installment we are going to hear bread. <laughs> uh, this bread, um, all of this is very fresh, it's from this morning. It's, it's a Sunday, so um, I am doing this in my free time, but I hear that uh, many people enjoy this, also enjoy the sound, which I think is great, because from sound you can actually identify the quality of a bread, um, you can identify if it's fresh or already a little bit older, and the sound changes from the different kinds of bread that we have. So, first, um, I think we are going to have a look at a normal uh, country bread, I would say. Um, this is basically the everyday bread of a farmer. It's, uh, um, yes, if a family lives far away from the next big city or even village, they may don't have a bakery in their town. And so many farmers bake their bread themselves. Um, and here are the ingredients. Um, it's a very simple bread, but also tasty. Your bread isn't complicated, but the things that are part of a good bread are, but we can't do that later, yes. <laughs> so here in this little booklet, the recipe for a farm spread or a country bread, uh, you can decide how you want to refer to that, uh, 500 grams of farmer's flour, um, 500 gram of rye flour, uh, which is a very dark flour, uh, rather dark, um, 3 to 4 teaspoons of salt, and we're talking here of uh, teaspoons that you would also use to uh, stir tea, um, not actually the teaspoons that are present in the cup system, um, which uh, many Americans use. Um, further, you will need 30 milliliters of water and also uh, 30 milliliters of buttermilk and 40 gram yeast, uh, fresh yeast. This is important, I think. Every baker has um, yeah, their own recipes but I think fresh yeast makes a bit big difference, yes. So I have here actually one of this country bread or farmer's bread. And so first we are going to listen to the sound of it. Obviously, I'm gonna eat that later. My son is actually coming to dinner uh, tonight, so uh, don't worry, this bread isn't going to waste. beautiful, isn't it? Bread has such a long tradition. 
especially in Europe. Um, this booklet is actually written by a German baker. Um, Germans, I think, have the longest and most diverse uh, bread culture. Maybe along with Switzerland. Uh, Switzerland isn't that old. Uh, Germany is. Already in the Middle Ages, bread was one of the main substances of uh, uh, breakfast, lunch and sometimes even dinner. Um, not every um, farm, not every farms could um, afford meat, even if they had um, animals themselves, uh, they had to sort it. Um, and bread was sometimes the only thing that landed on the table, but I think this is actually okay, because bread isn't boring. There isn't only one kind of bread, there are many thousand kinds of bread. And in this book, um, you know, it has 30 pages and per page there are about five breads. And this is only a little piece of the history of bread. This may sound stupid to you, but I think bread has the right to have a big history and people will actually explore this history. Uh, this isn't my part, of course, I, I'm just a baker. Um, I think we are actually going to try some bread. Um, but for this I have um, these little ones here. There's a, a, a German friend of mine referred to them as Brötchen. Yes, I think that's pronounced correctly. In Switzerland it's just Brötli, uh, which, which sounds sweet, I think. Oh, and actually, uh, let's hear how this one sounds. Okay, so these were fewer sounds than uh, uh, the big one, but um, let's break it apart. And let's have a try. It's a wonderful taste. Mm. Um, this one sadly dry out much faster because they are smaller. So it isn't as fresh as in the morning. Um, I had one of these um, for breakfast uh, with a cup of tea. Um, but still, even now, the taste is just uh, something else. Yes. Mm. Even so, it's a little bit messy, um, but we can clean it up later. Okay, very well. So, as you can see, this one is, hmm, it's like a cloud inside, um, just very fluffy. Hmm. It's a very white bread, meaning it isn't as healthy 
as some of the darker ones. Um, it's more like a bread that you would have at weekends. I think it's also um, more tasty, it's uh, faster to eat, you don't have to think about it and in one minute there's nothing left. At least that's my experience. It's almost sweet, you could say. Um, there isn't any sugar in it, but um, the wheat, wheat flour, um, white, white flour, you could say it's, uh, or also the flour you get in some flour mixtures, um, it's always almost like a pastry. I mean, it was later in the days, this bread was mostly consumed by richer customers. Um, we obviously sell it to everyone and everyone likes this. Um, this sets the darker breads apart because there are some people, I know many, uh, many of my customers um, prefer the whiter bread. I think dark bread is just something different. Um, it's like graham flour, you might have heard of that. Um, I love to work with that. It has a very distinctive taste. Or wheat grist, you can uh, do such great things with that. Uh, brown flour, brown bread. Um, is uh, actually one of our top selling products. So good, really. <laughs> I don't know what they serve in heaven, but I guess that would be it. Or at least it comes very close. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> You know, uh, it's, uh, let's be a little bit risky um, and actually try another one. I have here um, a bread knife and a cutting board. And we are gonna try one of these. Um, just a question, which one? Um, I think actually I want to show you a very dark one because that's maybe exotic to some of you. I'm not sure. At least I know in America um, these are actually very rare. I didn't see them often when I was travel. And I traveled a lot. I am not an um, American actually. I uh, came here 10 years ago um, right after I finished well I did not really finish it actually um, I am not a real member of the Lighthouse Guild I am rather a baker <laughs> but I still have very old friends and good friends in the guild so um, we are still in contact and yes because of that um, I'm standing here right now I guess <laughs> so but now let's focus on cutting this bread let's have a listen Another one. 
This one that came out a little bit sick. Uh, but that doesn't matter. You know, uh, some people cut their bread really thin. Um, but I like it when there's some taste of the bread itself left, even if you make a sandwich. Mm. This is something else we might could do uh, in, in another installment of the Lighthouse series, I guess. Uh, maybe. I, I would have to ask. <laughs> mm. Mm. As you can see, this is a little bit darker. Um, it's still not uh, too dark. It has uh, some uh, something in it that is called dinkle. I'm not sure about uh, the right name in English. Um, but it has um, a more intense taste. Um, it's not too dominant, it's actually really good in combination with ham, um, mayonnaise or something, or even mustard. So intense flavors, flavors um, they come together like they're meant to be. This bread is perfect for making sandwiches. Um, it has a crust, of course, so um, Especially in America, uh, I learned this the hard way. There are a lot of people who don't like the crust, which I don't get because in the crust there's actually the most flavor. And if you take a bite, it sounds amazing. <laughs> mm. And the taste. I'm telling you the taste. You know, I think there's a reason my ancestor became bakers, and there's a reason why I became one. Now, let's listen to this. Ah, it doesn't sound that intensely. Um, this is, of course, the piece that has the most crossed. So for some of you, this is this will appear tonight in their nightmares. I apologize. <laughs> um, but if I take a bite... Well, there is the crust. Um, I just noticed uh, something. Actually, it's already pretty late, sadly. Um, I wanted to tell you way more. <laughs> um, we didn't even touch um, dough. It's, uh, <laughs> I wanted to do that initially. Um, well, you know what, maybe um, you will see me here once more again, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, but now it's already pretty late, 
um, I have to cook and um, my son comes um, for dinner tonight um, so I think I will prepare something tasty um, my wife maybe she will help me um, I will have to ask the uh, she is uh, currently uh, ah, she's, she's knitting currently um, maybe as a present for my son's birthday because that is very soon so I hope uh, you liked this uh, little lesson in bread <laughs> um, yes maybe you will try one of these um, or maybe even come to visit us that, that would be wonderful um, I don't have too much time to talk with customers of course but I will give my best <laughs> so thank you all for listening I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will return to the lighthouse to the lighthouse workshop very soon <laughs> so um, have a nice day my name is Mr. Baker <laughs>